Hi guys, today it occurred to me that I haven't done a whole lot of PHP here in, in a uh, while as far as video tutorials. And PHP is one of those, uh, shall we say, perishable skills. If you don't do something, uh, you kind of forget what you did. So I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a grocery list in PHP. Uh, the other day I, I started scratching stuff down on a piece of paper and I realized I forgot my piece of paper. And so, you know, I, I thought to myself, you know, why not just go ahead and put something online that I can retrieve from my smartphone or any phone or, uh, you know, any anyone who has access to this can just go in and add items. And if you have a family of, say, three, four people that uh, have access to this, if somebody runs by the store, you don't have two gallons of milk showing up at once because the first person just goes in and deletes the gallon of milk from their smartphone as they're picking it up. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and start up our Apache locally and we need to start up uh, ooh, let's see what I got going on here. Allow access. Yeah, I want to allow access to that. Uh, I didn't even read that. That might have meant allow it to the uh, unknown networks. All of my networks. Windows is blocked. Oh, okay. No, we're not going to allow access on that. Actually, let's stop this and restart it. See if I get that warning again. Well, okay, it's it's going to allow access to my Apache, but uh, interestingly enough, I'm sitting at a marina with a uh, very bad signal, so if anyone can actually get in on, on my Apache, you know, good luck to them. So now what I want to do is I just want to go to localhost, and be sure that I'm, yep, I'm all logged in. So from here, I need to build my database, so I'm going to go to PHP My Admin. And the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and create a database for this. Let's see, Databases uh, Create. I'm going to call this Groceries, and I'm going to go ahead and create it. Database Groceries has been created. So anyway, yeah, let me go ahead and tell you what I'm going to do here. And I've uh, pretty much covered the beginning part. And then in the next uh, section of this, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create the actual database that, that connects our pages. And then we're going to make our pages. We're also going to make pages that are suitable for, uh, for a phone. We're going to make pages that are suitable for a laptop and suitable for a desktop. And the advantage of this system is going to be that uh, if you're sitting at work and you think of something that you need, you can quick like log into your page. And we're going to secure that page. We're just going to do a, a basic security. We're not going to get into the whole database security method. We're just going to do a basic security method on it. And uh, you'll just be able to log into that page, go to the page, and let's say you need milk and butter. You can just type in milk, and then you can type in butter. And then on your way home, uh, you'll be able to look it up on your smartphone and just visit it like a web page. And as you pick up that milk, we're going to have a one-click delete button that's going to delete that and hopefully bring you right back to the page that you came from. And this will be something that your entire family can use. So if somebody's going by the store and uh, they whip out their phone, they'll see the very latest things that were put on there. And if those things disappear from there, then you'll know that they were bought. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, I will catch you in the next episode of this, and we'll go ahead and make the database. Thanks for watching.